Welcome to Profit 100, Sales Tuning by Experts. The latest version, MapPoint 2013, is available now. We would like to compare it to MapPoint 2011 by checking out the new features. We will begin with the new MapPoint function Nearby Places, which means we will count the numbers of points of interest. Test Part 1 MapPoint 2013 in comparison to 2011. First of all, Microsoft MapPoint is an amazing software, and we think this test should help you to decide whether it might be worth to upgrade from a previous version. We will first check the numbers of points of interest. By using the function Nearby Places, we chose Chicago as our starting point with a radius of 20 miles. We've divided the test into four steps. First, we will search for all restaurants. Then, we'll search for all other places besides shopping. After that, we'll search for all the shopping places. And last but not least, we will export all shopping places to an Excel sheet. Step 1, the search for all restaurants. We will start with the latest version, MapPoint 2013, and we'll check the numbers of all the restaurants. To do this, we will click on this category box and click on Select All and on the Apply button. Eight thousand eight hundred and thirty five restaurants were found within a radius of twenty miles from the center of Chicago. We proceeded the same way with map point two thousand and eleven and found eight thousand nine hundred and ninety five restaurants. Concerning the effectiveness of both versions, we can say as our test result for Part 1 that MapPoint 2013 as well as MapPoint 2011 are about the same. Step 2. The search for all other places besides shopping. Again, we will begin with MapPoint 2013 and click on the category box. We will now switch from restaurants to places and click on select all. We do not want to search for shopping, so we will unselect this criteria. And we will click on apply. 17,072 places were found within a radius of 20 miles from the center of Chicago. Again, we proceeded the same way with map point 2011 and found 16,623 places. We can once again confirm for our second test result of part 1 that map point 2013 as well as map point 2011 are about the same. Step 3. The search for all shopping places. And here we will again start with the latest version, 2013, and we will click on Categories. Remember, we are only searching for the shopping places, so we will only select the shopping criteria. And again, we will click on Apply. 4,962 shopping places were found within a radius of 20 miles from the center of Chicago. Once more, we proceed the same way with the older version, and found 533 shopping places. Concerning our test result for shopping places, we can now clearly say that MapPoint 2013 is far more effective than the older version. Step 4. Export all shopping places to an Excel spreadsheet. For this purpose, we are using the new MapPoint Excel add-in I see nearby locations. It's a very powerful tool for searching and exporting pins and map point places within a certain radius, so it's an easy-to-use program to analyze customers and markets, for example. First, we will export all shopping places within a radius of 20 miles. Then, we will filter the result for T-Mobile and City Sports shopping places. And last but not least, we will import and show those places in MapPoint 2013. We will now start the Excel add-in I see nearby locations. You can see that the North America map of MapPoint is loaded automatically. We will search for Chicago and type it into the city slot. Then we will select the country, which would in this case be the United States. And we'll afterwards click on search. Now we will define the radius, which is 20 miles, and choose the category. 
Now we can start the export. In an instant, you can see that there are 3,284 shopping locations within the selected radius of 20 miles around the center of Chicago. And we can now take a look at the Excel sheet. First of all, we will click on Data and set a filter. And can, for instance, sort these addresses alphabetically from A to B. Now, we want to search and filter only the T-Mobile and City Sports shopping addresses. We type in T-Mobile first and click on OK. We can now mark all the T-Mobile locations and copy them onto a new app. We can rename the Excel sheet to T-Mobile. The same procedure will take place with the City Sports addresses, so we will now type in City Sports. Again, all addresses are found, and we can once again copy and paste them onto another new Excel, followed by renaming the sheet to City Sports. Now we will store the Excel file. As the file name, we will choose T-Mobile plus City Sports and save these addresses onto the map point map. This is a very simple procedure. We will now choose T-Mobile and click on Next and it is imported by longitude and latitude. Then we will click on Push Pin and can now choose a symbol. In this case we will select the red flag and we will change the Push Pin set name to T-Mobile only and eventually click on Finish. We will now import all the City Sports addresses and by choosing City Sports we will proceed exactly the same way. We will here change the push pin set name to City Sports and select a blue flag as our symbol and click Finish. Now we can show all the push pin information. If you're interested in the IC Nearby Locations function, you can download the light version for free. Thank you for your attention.